enough popularity to win over 20% of the national vote and came to power in a coalition government. In response, secular officials clamped down on Islam's most visible symbols. These women became victims of a crackdown on the headscarf, which was banned from all public institutions. I was studying here, this university, for three years I studied at the Department of Physics. But the fourth year I couldn't enter because of my headscarf. They said us, you are covering your head with hijab, with scarf, you couldn't enter this university. But I studied with my headscarf for three years. Yeah, this living is the library of Istanbul University and we can't with our headscarf even in a library. We can't go, we can't enter, we can't search in there. If we uh, allow the girls to cover their heads, one day we would be forced to cover our heads as well. We were frightened that if we had allowed them, they would turn Turkey into Iran. The headscarf isn't an object that represents a political party or a movement. In my opinion, it's not an instrument of propaganda. For me, the headscarf is about being religious and is a symbol of Islam. I am not dangerous. I wasn't dangerous, and I'm not dangerous. The vice rector of Istanbul University played a central role in enforcing the headscarf ban. She is Nur Surtur. It was not only a matter of headscarf. With the headscarf, many other things have started to take place in uh, at the at the universities. For example, the students in 